Howdy there, welcome back to part two. Today we're gonna to choose a distribution to try our hand at. When choosing a distribution, there's a whole bunch of different things that fall into play. You're gonna end up finding what works for you and you'll end up loving it. Um, the big two players in the market are RPM-based distributions and Debian-based distributions. RPM-based, which, which stands for Red Hat Package Manager, uh, would be Red Hat Enterprise, Fedora, CentOS is actually an open source spin of Red Hat Enterprise, so it's the same thing just without the badge, without the labeling, the support, um, or you know uh, the guaranteed updates from Red Hat themselves. Um, there's several other Red Hat based ones, but those are the big ones. And then you've got Debian based distributions, um, the biggest of course being Debian. Um, Ubuntu is actually a Debian based distribution, and there's a whole series of distributions that are called Ubuntu-based, uh, Lubuntu, Zubuntu, Kubuntu, Ubuntu Studio, um, Ubuntu Mate, there's a ton of them. They're Ubuntu-based, but in reality, they're Debian-based because Ubuntu itself is Debian-based. Um, there's also a ton of other distributions out there. You'll end up finding what works for you. Um, a quick honorable mention is like Arch Linux, which is a rolling release distribution. Uh, Gentoo is another big one like that. Um, I'm not quite sure why FreeBSD is on here, but it's technically, well, no, it is not a Linux. It's a free, it's a BSD. Um, oh, I forgot Ubuntu Chillin. It's pronounced Chillin, not Kylin. Um, that has a GNOME 2-esque, uh, desktop environment called Chillin, which is, uh, aimed at the Chinese market. Anyways, we're going to try our hand at Fedora as well as Ubuntu. And uh, we'll get to that in the next video. Uh, but if you're looking for a distribution, you want a distro hop as it's known as, or if you want to just see what works for you, hop onto distrowatch.com and take a peek.